This is a demonstration of the iodine sanitizer drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to collect an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before collecting your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample, hold the vial close to eye level. Accuracy is very important during this step. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level to verify. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. Once you've collected an accurate sample, the next step is to add three drops of sulfuric acid 50%. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. The next step is to add 5 drops of starch indicator solution 1%. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. The sample should turn dark brown to dark blue if iodine is present. The next step is to perform the titration using sodium thiosulfate titrant. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. Add the titrant one drop at a time, swirling the vial after each drop to properly mix the sample. You must count the number of drops during this step. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. Continue counting the number of drops and swirling the vial after each drop. The titration is complete when the sample turns clear or returns to the sample's original color.